Well, we're going to try that, that kayaking thing one more time. And I tell you what, today's the day. Because guess who's driving today? Holy crap. We got Christian with his permit. And uh, a heavy foot. I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh, yeah. Well, if I survive, we're going kayak fishing again. Give it another try. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Mad Dog Fishing. Hey, we are back down here on the uh, bay once again. Uh, wind's probably kicking. I don't know if you can see that flag back there in the background on that riverboat, but uh, yeah, it's it's pretty pretty uh, Christian trying to uh, photobomb. But anyway, guys, we're testing out. I did some things to the, one of the GoPro mounts. Hopefully, it'll help. Uh, I'm sure the wind's going to be pretty bad on this GoPro once again. Hadn't got another wind soft for it. The wind slayer on the other one last week worked fantastic. So this is just a trial and error run again. If we catch some fish, great. We got a few fiddler crabs. Uh, we got a few jigs. So we're going to give it a try. We'll see you in a minute. All right. First test. See how this thing works. All little mates. We got some little ones today. Hopefully we got got spooled up with some new line this morning. Uh, I think they call this the uh, Berkeley Big Game Back Bay. It's kind of a bronze colored line. I really like it. See how it does today. Got it on the uh, the Quantum 3000 really nice reel I've had it for a long long time I used to use this one back in the day when uh, I used to bass fish quite often but now it's being used as a flounder and sheep's head and whatever else I can catch on it so let's go catch fish I was going to hook my GoPro to my vest, uh, but obviously it, that's not going to happen. So couldn't find the right attachment. I've got hundreds of clips and attachments, and none of them work. So I'm back to wearing the GoPro hat or whatever you call this hat that it mounts on. It's a lot better than having it clipped onto my bill because that was kept pulling my hat down in my face last week so yeah that wind is is getting up i hope that wind sock that wind slayer is working today yeah guys we're just going we're just testing out this equipment and hopefully it's sound windproof and uh and we're able to get some some footage of us catching some fish and and see right now that actually it looks like the wind's worse than it was last week. It's changed directions on us, so it's going to be quite the challenge today. Anyway, I'm going to turn y'all off and uh, get set up and see how we do. Well, guys, right out here in the middle of the, uh, I mean, it is windy. I had to change position three times because I was broadside to the waves and I was, I was just getting a little too sketchy. I really hope that uh, wind slayers work because that wind is howling right now. Uh, can't really tell it. Oh, I think I just got a bite. Might as well check my crab because when it comes to sheep's head fishing, 
there. They're sneaky little rascals. Well, this has been some of the worst fishing conditions in a kayak I've been in a, in a minute. I thought it was bad last week. Uh, it's real bad today. It's warm, but that wind is, uh, it, it did it. That's, a, that's good, that's good. So far, no sheep's head. Uh, think Christian got a bite. I have yet to get a bite. Too busy trying to keep my kayak from flipping in these waves. And I've got to a good spot. Just need a fish now. Come on, these little pesky little rascals. Too much release and the wind will just spin you in circles and have you side broadside in the waves. You gotta be really careful out here when you're tied off. And uh, I make sure we wear our PFDs and I am waiting, I am wearing waders, but I do have a safety belt on. And I have fallen in the water with waders. They don't fill up water like you would think, but it does make swimming difficult. But I'm only 15 feet from the bank, so I, I can crawl my way to the bank if I have to. Right now, I just want to catch fish. And I'm really testing out to see if that, that wind sock is really getting my money's worth out of it. I mean, it only cost me, what, $6? It's called the Wind Slayer. I'll put a link in the description uh, if this makes it to a, it makes it on the video. But gotta catch fish first. Gotta catch fish first. Yeah, this is where we're gonna put the mic to test. We got the headset going. Uh, we got that one going. Anyway, we're crossing up here. We're we're actually in Oyster Bay. Uh, I can't tell from the bridge behind us, but anyway, we're gonna tack down here a ways, get out of this wind. And uh See how it goes. No, that's a sheep's head. That's funny. Nope, it's a sheep's head. Nice sheep's head. Nice. Yes, sir, folks. Look at this big old fella. Oh. Are you tied off yet? Yeah. Let me get the... Ow! Ow! Do not bite me. Do not bite me. Oh, the hook came out too. Oh, it did? Yeah, thank goodness. Yep, folks. Got dinner. Oh, yeah, that one's, this one's probably three or four pounds. Well, guys, that's it. That's a wrap for today. Uh, it, the, the conditions are really windy. Now, we got some guys over here fishing off the bank with corks and shrimp. Uh, the wind's pushing the bait fish over in this corner, and they're literally slaughtering the uh, slot reds. Uh, maybe 10, 15 slot reds. Kind of wishing I had brought some shrimp now. But anyway, we came down here to test the cameras. Uh, we brought some fiddler crabs. We really want some sheep's head. You know, that's Christian's favorite uh one of his favorite foods it's his birthday so we we did what he wanted to do today and tomorrow he wants to go tomorrow's actually his birthday so this is going to be a continuation video and we're going we're going to go to the beach try some pompano we hear there's some pompano moving in so we're looking forward to uh to that we're going to make a, a day of it so hopefully the weather will hold out and uh we'll uh get some fish to go with our sheep's head I'm going to show you guys what we're using for bait and what we're using for a setup. I know I've covered it previously on another thing, but we're just using a simple Carolina rig. 
with about a 12 inch liter we use uh, 12 pound fluorocarbon uh, today we're having to go with a little bit heavy sinker so we're going with a half ounce and then we use just a small number two mosquito hook uh, these work great for fiddler crabs and uh, and for for sheep's head here you go Christian's combo today is the Akuma Safina Pro. Uh, we own five of these. They're really nice for inshore fishing. Uh, they hold about almost 300 yards of 10 pound uh, Power Pro. Drag amazing. Yeah, it has very smooth drag on it. Uh, they've been, they're not sealed whatsoever. They're kind of difficult to maintenance, but I mean, they've been splashed, dunked, dropped in the sand. We just keep washing them off, and they keep going. And I, I actually get these free from work. So, you know, there, and it comes on a seven-foot rod. It's a two-piece rod, but uh, it, I would say the action of the rod's really more of a light action rod. But it's great for speckled trout sheep's head slot reds, slot reds. Uh, and you need to catch bigger fish on it it's just gonna be a battle uh, we hooked something earlier this year on one and we just didn't have the backbone to get it in we fought it for about 30 minutes I think it was a stingray or either a huge black drum and we couldn't ever turn it so we ended up pulling the hook but that's what Christian's using Savina Pro I was gonna bring mine but I opted for the bait caster today bait uh, I love my bait casters. Bass fishing. Uh, really, the only thing I use it for is flounder fishing, which I've yet to catch flounder since I've been living down here. Oh, just saw some mullet jumping. But, yeah, this is the, uh, I know I, I said it earlier, it's the Quantum. Uh, let's see what model this is. This is the uh, Q6300 called the quantum high-speed competition it's probably maybe I, I don't know how old this really is the rods are quantum light they quit making these rods 15 years ago I bought it from Walmart I uh, fished I couldn't tell you how many tournaments I'd break one take it back to Walmart get a brand new one but they quit carrying them quit making them so I'm just getting what I can out of it when it breaks I move on to something new uh, many of them yeah we actually did use them for catfishing for a while. Let me show you what we're using for bait, guys. I'm get one out of here without it just make, making a muckery of me. Got you one. Guess you go. what we're using? God. Look at the look at the the pincher on that thing. I uh, avoid those. Wash them off a little bit. But these little fellas right here, they're great sheep's head bait. I normally man. tear this uh, big claw off, but and they got a little claw right there. He's trying to pinch me, but great uh, sheep's head bait. Really, anything will eat them because we don't catch any sheep's head today. They're going to the surf with us tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow's Christian's birthday. He'll be 16 years old. Yeah. Don't forget to wish him happy birthday. Uh, and put this little fella back. And if you're lucky, you might get set free. You try to pinch me with that claw. Come on. He's not happy. I don't blame him. I wouldn't be happy either. There you go. He did get a free bath, though. Anyway, guys. Change locations. But that's what we're using today. We're, we're actually finna change locations. We're gonna get out of this wind. We got uh, another place we're gonna try. A super secret spot 10 miles down. We're not getting out in this wind too much. And, uh, right. Somebody's casting out their cork, so we're kind of stuck here for the moment. Anyway, guys, we'll talk to you later.